Responsible investing delivers positive outcomes for society. ESG is critical for future returns. The environmental footprint of a business can contribute to its cost base as both consumers and corporates are looking to buy from cleaner supply chains. Within the social pillar, the ability to secure and retain talent allows a business to grow into new opportunities as they arise. And strong governance is critical to the long-term outlook for a business. The consideration of ESG factors sits alongside a traditional analysis of profit and loss statements and balance sheets and gives a fuller and broader picture of a company's valuation. If you don't take into account ESG factors, you're missing out on something. All our analysts take into account ESG factors in the same way they take into account financial factors. ESG is absolutely integrated into the entire investment process. We are looking for one of two things, either companies which have a superior ESG profile to their peer group or businesses which are making significant improvements transitioning towards becoming an ESG leader. The UN believes that we need to achieve net zero carbon emissions by 2050 in order to have a chance of limiting global warming to one and a half degrees. The clean economy is a set of technologies which allows us to operate our economy and society sustainably. It's about the way that we move people and things about. It's the way that we power our economy, feed our society and manage our scarce resources. The strategy invests in businesses which are market leaders within the areas of sustainable transport, smart energy, food and agriculture, and natural resource preservation. The technology now largely exists to achieve the changes that we need. Consumers want this and corporates are starting to respond. I think that's really exciting. It means that we're able to invest in businesses that are looking ahead to decades of profitable growth. And at the same time, we're able to deliver positive societal impact for our clients. The COVID pandemic has refocused society on some of the challenges to humankind. The COP26 meeting in Glasgow will again bring into sharp focus countries' plans for how we get to a net zero economy in the future. I think this gives grounds for optimism and it also provides investors with lots of opportunities to invest in the technologies that will help deliver this transition. Investors can play a very important role in helping to deliver better outcomes for the planet and for its people.